<laughs> All right, fam. <laughs> I think your boy, let me get in the right setting. I think your boy just recorded about three minute intro of a video without hitting record. And I have not been drinking. All right, fam. All right, let's just make a fresh start. Your boy, me, and Fitzgerald are camping. And we knew it was going to be a rainy weekend. We got here last night. I pulled the trailer up with the GMC. I went back home. I picked up the Jeep and I picked up Fitzgerald. We got in last night. We brought in all our supplies. I refrigerated the food, put everything I needed to put in the cabinets. Fitzgerald did his normal patrolling of the environment. He uh, looked for old dog smell, old food smell, you name it. He did his whole entire thing, his, his routine. So, we knew that it was going to be raining. Right, Fitzgerald? When we looked at the weather, what did the weather say? Uh-oh, something's drawing his attention. It's starting to rain hard again. But we knew it was going to be raining. But we were prepared for that. If I told y'all in previous videos, I like the rain. I like being out here. And check this out. Fitzgerald and I have the entire campsite to ourselves. Everybody stay right there. Check this out. Yeah, it's raining. The river is, is, is about to, it won't overflow, but it's flowing heavily. And it's just raining. It's just a rainy, gloomy, dreary afternoon. And I like it. Me and Fitzgerald just chilling, enjoying some good food, uh, some YouTube videos. We play a little bit with his toys and we just relax. Now, the purpose of this video is to inform y'all, to update you on this air fryer that I got from Walmart for like $29 or $30. This thing came to the rescue. Y'all know I like to cook outside. I have my whole little toolbox set up in the cargo compartment or the RV. I pull that thing out, I pull out my, my cooker, and we go to work. I got everything in there we need, but with conditions being what they are today, your boy could not cook outside. I found these chicken breasts that I had brought out. I thawed them out, we threw them in the air fryer. The only problem with this little small air fryer is I can only cook one chicken breast at a time. Now, when I was recording, or when I thought I was recording, and I wasn't, I was just talking to my phone, I had already cut my this first chicken breast. We were gonna do a taste test, and I realized I was just talking to myself. All right, family, so with that being said, let me get y'all that glare. Let's go ahead and check this chicken breast out. Oh, Fitzgerald is, ooh, he paying close attention. You listen, you watching daddy now, buddy? Let's see what this thing tastes like. Well, first of all, we hit it with some Tony Saturis. We hit it with the egg wash. We breadcrumbed it. Then we threw it in the air fryer for about 40 minutes. That's the only downfall to that small air fryer. You got to cook every something this size. You got to cook it individually. And if there's two or three of y'all eating, somebody's got to wait or y'all got to split one, do a small meal, then do a small meal later. All right, fam, let's see what this thing tastes like. Hmm, garlic and herb with a little tony saturus. I'm not even sure I needed the tony saturus. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's give Fitz a little cut of this and see what he thinks. What you think, buddy? I think he approved. You approved? Is that fifth year old approved? All right. I think that's a yes. All right, fam. So we're gonna go ahead. I've already went through my process with the second one. We're gonna go ahead and drop this second uh, chicken breast in. And here's our problem. I almost, I almost gotta cut this one in half. We're gonna drop her in gonna be up on the sides a little bit and don't y'all do what I did fam look that's almost it's up on the sides I had this air fryer all the way on the back wall 
And I think I warned y'all about that when I first set this thing up in here. I had it up against the back wall, and y'all can see there's a little bit of scarring right there from that heat. That's going to be a problem in the future because I was not diligent, didn't follow my own instructions, and I forgot and left that thing up next to the wall. We're going to have, at some point, have to put up a, a backsplash of some sort, maybe some metal if we continue to cook there. Or we have to lift this up. We have to move this, lift this up, and use it as it, the uh, guard or backsplash like it was meant to do when you're cooking on the stove. And that's what happens when you're in the RV and you use alternate methods of cooking. You still have to be diligent and do what you're supposed to do in order to maintain the integrity of your RV or your rig, or you're gonna lose it. All right, family, so let's go ahead and get this thing set for about, where's the dot at, right there. We're gonna go ahead and set this thing up for, what's that? I think that's 50 minutes, I can't see. I'm going blind, I need my glasses. It's 20 minutes, 25, oh, wide open, 30 minutes. All right, wide open 30 minutes, and then when it hits, it finishes 30 minutes, we probably have to put it in for another five or 10 minutes. At the 15 minute mark, we'll go ahead and we'll flip it over, we'll check it, uh, flip it over, and then we'll be back. All right, family, y'all stay tuned, and we'll just stick with me for the progress, and then we'll go. All right, fam, it's been about 25 minutes, 24 minutes, and I put my ThermalWorks pen to work. And by the way, Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do, he brought this to me right prior to the holidays, right prior to Christmas. I think he ordered about four, five, or six of these things, and he wanted me to have one. And he also wants me to develop a relationship with ThermalWorks to possibly become a partner. And we might just do that. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and stick this chicken breast. I already stuck it once and it says it's like 170 something degrees, which means it's done. All right, fam. Let's go ahead and let's see. Let me set y'all up right here. All right, fam. Y'all can see that thing right now. Maybe y'all can see it. Reading 72, 71.8 degrees. We're gonna pull that breast. It's reading 190. Now I don't think it's not I don't think it's touching the metal or anything. So that breast is done through and through. So that was 25 minutes, family. And that thing was ready. Thank you, Big Lou, for the pen. It's gonna come in handy. I think we're gonna wind up keeping this thing in the RV. All right, fam. Let's go ahead and plate that one. Boom. Oh yeah. Let's go. All right, fam. Let's go ahead. We're gonna cut into this one. See what we're working with. I got a plastic fork over here. Hold on. We use plastics when we camp. Cause, oh boy, I don't want to be—I don't want to be washing a bunch of dish. All right, fam. I added a little more bread into that one. A little more egg wash. It came out a little crispier. It looks a little better to me. All right. All right, fam. <laughs> That's good stuff. It's a little spicy. I don't know if I want to give Fritz Jerry that it's being spicy the way it is. Alright, fam. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and bread this last chicken breast. Possibly I might just marinate it tonight and cook it fresh tomorrow morning. That's what I'll do. 
All right, family. If y'all enjoyed this brief video from the campsite with me and your number one YouTube dog, Mr. Fitzgerald, y'all give us a thumbs up. Y'all know what to do, family, and we will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.